Uh, I want to go across first and foremost to uh, General Dwevedi for his understanding of the current situation because you've been in China, you've commanded the Special Frontier Force Battalion. What's your sense of the significance of using the SFF in this operation, Indian, Indian Army accepting that the SFF was involved, the Vikas Regiment was deployed? And the fact that all reports coming out of uh, Beijing, especially the report of the U.S. intelligence, seems to suggest that the PLA is fuming at this time. Uh, well, Rahul, firstly, always a pleasure to be on your show. And I'd just like to correct, I have operated with special forces when I was uh, captain. And uh, later I commanded 16 Jat, firstly on the CHN and then thereafter in the Pogongso. And with special forces also I operated in the same Pogongso area. Now, let me give you... Uh, the two perspectives, as you talked about the strategic and the tactical, of course, political faults in place. Well, strategically, you know, in current environment, it's the tactical action which has strategic ramification. And, you know, the PLA and the Chinese plan was exactly the application of 1962, on which I also authored a book. They came in same three places at DBO, Galwan, and Pagongso. So the tactical intent was to actually shift the line or LAC to the westward and strategic intent was to be in a commanding position therefore to bargain it out whenever the border issue is on the table. Now the significance of this action because having known the ground so well firstly Blacktop is a very very pivotal locality because while it gives you deep insight into right on to the Siri Jap and that area it also denies the enemy any observation into Chushul Bowl, which is a ground of strategic importance, as also in this Tangur Gap. Having done this, now we have neutralized the Chinese advantage on the north of Pegongso, because on Finger 4, there is a height which dominates the Fogren Bowl, and also Anila Pass, which we could have used to cut off the Chinese. So now we have squared up the game, and when we go on the negotiation table, we go on equal footing. Next point, this is the only way forward because Chinese had actually dug in the heels. They are not willing to negotiate. Only way was to do counter incursion. And now future operation will be all in the gray zone. Gray zone is the contested zone that is between finger one and finger eight and also on the southern side. So in my summation, I would like to say that this tactical action by the special frontier force is a game changer because Chinese have been given a very clear message that we will respond in same coin and therefore sanctity of the gray zone have been lost and we will also make gains as and when the ground permits and at the point of own choosing. 